All the skull-head creatures wander aimlessly through the darkness in the woods. Tonight, our leader has gone to a land far out of sight with the highest level of witch by his side. Where did they go, one may ask? To join their son in a land of merriment. Still air holds our futures in suspense. The roots of the trees stagnate as the things begin to eat them up. Beneath the ground, some sinister things grow and grow. Hollow eye sockets look at the sun climbing higher in the sky that our master and his family did not ever show. The warmth of the air does nothing for the spirits standing here. Then light rain cries from the sky as it has done days before. No babe burgles in the sound around. Everything that once moved in their wake is just so still. This land is vacant like the cabin near the woods. No one wants to believe that it is truly over, but the signs are here. The silent end to a battle no one thought about or heard of. The slow sinking of the ground below as the thing continues to eat on the living dead. He has taken them because he wants her. They are gone because he wants her offspring too. A witch that has been chased by the blue. A goddess that only wanted her truly and fully his. The head warlock did not give up on his wife or his son and the land began to come and then. So, we are here staring at another sunset, hoping he will come home. Deep down we all know home is where your happy family is whether they are related to you or not. It seems we saw him one way but he never saw us the same. We are loyal fools and I guess that is how we will always be. Hovering over decaying bodies on a land that used to lure life into its bosom. A direction is what we seek, but loyalty hides the pathway from the land of the hollows. Where did the trees go? Only a few weeks has passed and now they all have been replaced by a massive, smoking hole. I wonder what is taking him so long to return to the land of sorrowful hollows. This must be what it feels like to be left behind when the story runs along without you. The sky has thick, black clouds covering the sunlight. Snow falls into the smoky hole below, but we float above it all because we are souls that are lost in the shadows of the mind of our maker. Hollows in his still eyes because a silver death never seemed so tempting to an immortal. A mirror in his eyes as he watches Doyas steal the love of his life away freezing him inside a silver skull mirror.